Hey guys, iHeartMovies here, and welcome to my Let's Play of Litter 2 Eternal Gift Complete for the PlayStation 1. Uh, this game, very near and dear to my heart, my absolute favorite PS1 game of all time. You guys are definitely going to enjoy this, as will I. Without further ado, let's go ahead and start a new game. Uh, there were a few FMVs to start out this, Hanging but unfortunately, silent. they're a little too long to show right now, and I really want to get right to the gameplay. But I will, I will still show them. What I will do, I will record them uh, later after this, and then I definitely intend on showing them to you guys. So I don't want you guys, I don't want anybody to miss a thing with this LP. So I'm just just over them for right now, but I will definitely record them and upload them later. Right now, let's get to playing. Let's slide. Is it instead of ruins right here or something? Like somebody's dead. Ruby, did you say something? Hmm. Oh, whoa, holy crap. <laughs> oh, great. Don't tell me you're hearing I... voices now. I'm sure I heard something. Well, apparently, you had the flying things, Ruby. I should have brought Grandpa's chisel. This is way harder than I thought. Yeah, <clears> hurry up something. and get the dragon's eye. The timer's almost run out on the trap. Trap? What trap? It's a trap! Apparently, anyway. Um, yeah. You know what? Say something about the dragon's eye. Oh, oh. Why didn't you? Why didn't you? Why didn't you? Why didn't you? Why didn't you tell me about that earlier? What the hell was that? I did, but you were too wrapped up in getting the jewel was. to listen. Uh, sorry. Oh yeah, the jewel. Hold on, I've almost got it. Hurry, hero! <laughs> there, oh. I got it. I got the right sapphire jewel. It's beautiful and it's all ours. What's that rumbling? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh no! The exit's closing! Hurry! It's a load-bearing jewel. Ah! Apparently. No! Oh, this is going well so far. Things on fire. The rope broke. The exit sealed. We're falling to our death. Um, is the LP over? Uh, the, the guy's dead. So I guess the main character in this oh, game is... Uh, oh, Don't the die on me. Hero. You just can't die. Oh, he's okay. Uh, I'm... I'm okay, Ruby. <coughs> it's just a few... bruises. Okay, that's it. No more exploring for us. I can't do this anymore, Hero. We always end up getting in some sort of... Shh! Ruby! Listen! What?! Seven days... Just kidding. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ah! What the hell are those things? Ah! Come on, Ruby, let's get out of here! Um, um run. What are you doing here, Owen Ruby? Run! <laughs> I love your music here. Well, looks like you've caught us in another messy situation. Who's that little backstory oh, going on right here? By the way, oh, it's a chest. If you haven't figured Grab it out, a chest. my name is Hero. Oh, and hi, the flying Hero. cat is named Ruby. And hi, Ruby. She says she's actually a baby red dragon, oh. but I don't know if I quite believe her. <laughs> she doesn't care, though. We've been friends for what seems like forever. Another chest. Go get it. Music here is definitely appropriate for a chase scene. My grandfather Gwen funny. is an archaeologist who taught us how to explore ancient ruins like this. Well, not exactly like this. Oh, Crab <laughs> would have a coronary if he saw me in this kind of danger. <laughs> but you get the idea. I think it's so cool that these dungeons and ruins that time forgot can be found and explored by someone like me. The world I live in today <laughs> is the result of things that happened long ago. Someday, I'll gather enough information from ruins like these to prove that. Oh, whoa. whoa! Place has traps of plenty, but I wonder who set them. Hmm. Oh, well. Got the dragon jewel, and we're out of the cave, so I guess we're safe for now. Most of those things were inferno rules. Alrighty then. Now that we dance move around now and show you guys how the menu works. To open up the menu, you can either use the square button or the start button. We got four options here. We have magic, we have items, equip, and system. With magic, obviously where your character's magic is. Hero has one spell right now, the boomerang spell. Delivers a whack and comes back. Okay. So items, we start out with five herbs. They restore 40 HP. And a star light, which heals MP. And 
key item, a special item, and write Sapphire Jewel. Equipment. Hero starts out with a dagger. Okay, better than nothing. And Adventurous Flight. Okay. The system is where you can change all the options. We have save, load, tactics where you can move people around. Option to move Hero down and left a little bit right there. And then for these tactic, tactic 1, 2, and 3, this is pretty much like auto battle. And if you have characters, say you set up Hero tactic 1 with Boomerang, you will, if you select a tactic in battle, he'll do that automatically. But I don't really use those, it's better just to fight manually. And then option, you can change all the vibration, window style, window color, spell names, and battle voices, on or off, if you so choose. Now, my, I like things the way they are right now, so I'm going to leave them as is. I'll also go ahead and save also, real quick. So you have the save menu here, and hit R1, if I can find the right button for which one it is in my controller. Uh, apparently, I don't have multiple saves, but oh, these two will work. Alright. Save right there. And let's start exploring. Well, not really exploring right now, but trying to head back home. And here's a world map right here. For a PlayStation 1 game, this actually looks really, really nice. I mean, it's obviously in two dimensional and everything, but hey, still, it's fine with me. It looks great. The music's catchy, too. It has a nice. Adventurous, free roaming theme to it. Sounds really nice. Oh, there's a statue down here. And also, since you're actually like on an area in an area right now, you can use the circle button to run for about three seconds or so. Statue here, just press X up next to it, and it'll fully heal you. And there's a monster right here, and it's blocking our ways we have to fight it. We got some dung beetles and a sand cyclops. We go ahead and help here hearing this boom and the cyclops first we can help. Dodge this! These beetles there, here we'll be able to take those out in one hit each. And Ruby will be able to kill in one hit also. And pretty much, Ruby will be seeing her flying up there at the top of the screen. Pretty much after every round, she'll chip in and attack. And she'll deal pretty much around the same damage that Hero would deal anyway. So it's nice to have a little extra help right there. Hmm, fair of love to Althena. Apparently she's the goddess in this world. Yeah, pretty much it's a good idea of just about after every battle or so, run by the statue and heal. Also, I wanted to go over status too. Um, attack, pretty much everything is normal. Uh, you see attacks right there, Hero has two. That's how many times you can use a physical attack in one turn. So, if Hero's turn, if I have him choose attack, Hero will attack your monster twice. Let's see, uh, you have defense, agility, speed, wisdom, magic attack. Uh, range is basically how far the character can move. The higher the range, the, more, the further you can move around battle. And luck, I believe the higher luck you have, the better chance you have of dodging physical attacks and fair protection and all that. But you just wanted to mention that sooner. And then also, yeah, you see, um, kind of uh, top right, but then your hero's level, level 5, uh, up and right of that, you see the silver up there. We have 6 silver right now. Silver is your currency in this game. Yeah, pretty much how battles work, really. You have control, which is how you control hero manually. You have the AI, which the AI will take over and fight by itself. You can either run away, choose run, the tactics. You can choose any options we set up early. Tactic 1, 2, or 3. But I'm just going to attack. You can just go control and attack. So you can use one attack. And there's two. And the hero's physical attack is more than strong enough to kill these dumb deals in one hit. And Ruby will check into it. These guys are very, very, very easy monster. The, I know you start out with the, uh, the five herbs and the, and the starlight, but you'll run through those actually very, very quickly, so it's actually better to um, just run back to the statue to heal after every battle. And I'll be fighting every enemy that's here right now. I want to try to avoid them for right now. Because, yeah, I want to fight out all of them. There's no one any, uh... What is something very, very useful Dodge later on once we get to the levels? Now, I didn't even use Boomerang in that. I just wasted that. I meant to use on the same Cyclops. Oh well. Ow. They also. If you look at, you look at a monster, you, you can tell what it's going to do before it actually attacks. Most monsters usually have two attacks they'll use a standard normal attack or a slightly special attack that they have. And you see the same Cyclops is just up right now. They'll just do a biting attack for, for some mild damage. 
Okay. And we're a little low on HP, so I'm going to run back to the statue and heal I'm going to avoid that monster. That was close. I did not want to fight. And run back to the statue. Heal. And I'll save again. So I'm running a little short on time, so actually I will call an episode right here. Hope you guys have enjoyed this first episode of Let's Play Lunar 2 Eternal Blue Complete. Next time we will continue exploring the desert here and trying to head back home. This has been iHeartMovie signing off guys. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching.